God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. And today I felt led to share this word. Um, are you battling with the spirit of loneliness? This is a demon that torments us day and night. And specifically for those who are waiting on their kingdom spells and I'm specifically going with the kingdom marriages because this is my process this is what I'm going through I'm speaking of what I'm what I went through and what the enemy has was doing in my process um, there was a, a spirit of loneliness a, a demon that was uh, at, coming at me so hard I always struggled with loneliness since I was a child and it was until um, recently when the Lord you know revealed to me my kingdom spouse he revealed to me um, through the situation and the separation that I've struggled with loneliness and I was I acknowledged it and I'm like it's true I don't like being alone and I remember one day as I was in my room, a demon came inside my room and it was a black shadow and it was just hovering over me and I couldn't get up and it was just something so strong and I something that was so powerful in my life. And it's real, my brothers and sisters, it is attacking a lot of women, a lot of men in the kingdom that are waiting on their spouse. You know, it's tormenting you. It's not allowing you to give you peace and joy. It's attacking your mind, your emotions. Um, this spirit, this demon, this spirit is following you at your job or at school or at church. The enemy is attacking a lot of singles that are waiting on God and their kingdom spouses and their kingdom marriages. The enemy is attacking the void that's inside of you. It, you feel lonely, you're mentally confined, and sometimes you feel emotionally disranged. You're longing for a companionship. You're longing to be with someone. And those desires that are in your heart, keeps it, it keeps knocking at your door day and night. The enemy wants to fill that void with earthly things. We must shift our mindset and focus on the truth that the Holy Spirit is within you. My brothers and sisters, I had to fight this demon. In my process of waiting, you know, in, in three years since I gave my life back to God, when I was in the world, I would date, I would be in relationships because I just could not be alone. I just didn't know how to be alone. And when I came to Christ three years ago, I didn't want to date. I wanted God to bring my husband. I wanted it to be from God because I didn't want that anymore to date. And it was just, I wanted to learn how to truly wait. And in this process, I felt alone. I felt it was horrible that 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 spirit that just hovers over you, where you just feel this void in your soul, and nothing can make you happy. And that the thoughts that crosses your mind, it just does not leave you alone. And I remember one day I came to my house, and it was empty. My kids weren't here. I have two boys, and I felt so alone. And I was praying and I was telling God, I feel so alone. You know, I feel alone God why do I feel alone I know you're with me and then all of a sudden as I was praying and I'd sit still I had this vision and I saw two big angels behind me and when I looked back you know there was no, no one there but I saw it and I got scared a little bit but I knew there were angels and God allowed me to see that to show me that you're not alone the spirit of loneliness is in, it's in attacking our, our emotional health and our physical health as well. Guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to pray and rebuke and cast and destroy that spirit of loneliness. And I pray that you come in agreement with me and that the Lord will heal you and free you from this spirit that has attacked me. To this day, I can say that I have overcome loneliness. Does it come sometimes? Yes, but it's up to me not to entertain those thoughts, not to entertain those feelings. But it was really bad. It was a, a, a giant in my life that has always been in my life. And the Lord had to teach me how to cut the head of this giant that stood before me. So my brothers and sisters, before I pray for you, you must acknowledge the feelings of loneliness. 
you must acknowledge and say, you know what, I do struggle with loneliness because in order for you to be set free, you have to be honest with yourself. So if this is you, my sister or brother that's listening and you say, yes, the enemy is attacking me. I, I just feel this negative energy, this negative, I'm always have these negative mindset. The enemy is attacking my, my emotions, my, my mind so heavily where you just feel so alone. You could be in a room full of people and still feel alone and you're struggling to wait you're struggling and you're being attacked by the enemy if it's happened to me i know it's happening to others and this is why god has led me to share this yeah it's good to come on youtube and hear these prophetic words about kingdom marriages but there these are real issues that we face that we go through that the enemy is attacking the body of christ it's attacking women and men of god in this area the spirit of loneliness it is a demon i've seen it it have come in my room and i had to fight it i had to overcome this this demon this spirit so one you acknowledge my brothers and sisters that you do have these feelings of loneliness number two you're going to renounce the feeling of loneliness after you acknowledge you're going to recognize this oppression feeling a lot of you are being oppressed from the enemy and you have to renounce it the feeling of loneliness you have to renounce it and you have to declare it over your mouth you are being oppressed by the enemy to the point where you can fully focus and be content with god and fill with his joy and peace to the point maybe you have suicide thoughts to the point where you feel like well i'm just gonna go out and date to the to the point to you're trying to feel that voice inside your heart because you feel alone to the point where you maybe are harming yourself because it's, it's just so heavy and it's oppressing you so you have to renounce it in the name of Jesus you have to declare that you're no longer agreement with that lie that you are alone because God is with you. He will never leave you or forsake you. It is a process of taking that thought captive and cast it out of your mind. My brothers and sisters, you're going to acknowledge, you're going to renounce the feeling of loneliness. You're going to declare that you are no longer agreement with the lie that you're alone. That is a lie of the enemy. You are not alone. God is with you. Praise the Lord. I praise God right now, Father God. I come before you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Father God, I pray as I come, Father God, that you arm me with the armor of God. And I declare the blood of Jesus over my mind, over my heart, over the channel, over whoever's watching, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Oh, Father God, I pray that you arm me with your armor, Father God. I intercess for my brothers. I intercess for my sister, whoever's watching, Father God. They are acknowledging, Father God, that they do have this feeling, Father God, that there is a spirit attacking them, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus that is suppressing them, but no more, Father God. I stand on the gap for my sister and brother, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. There are many, this world is full of lonely people father god that are worried and, bur and burdened they feel alone they're being afflicted father god but father god by your grace father god i pray for each hurting soul each soul that is hurting father god i pray that your grace will be upon them oh father god i pray that they will find comfort in you father god oh father god i pray that you carry their burdens and heal their brokenness father god and that you will set them free from bondage father god oh i thank you father god because you have given us your promise you have given us this precious promise of rest and perfect peace to all those who will look on you my brother and sister look unto god keep your mind on god because the bible says that he will give you perfect peace on those who look unto the lord right now i i, I renounce that spirit of loneliness right now in the mighty name of Jesus we renounce this oppressor that, that is oppressing you day and night you're no longer agreement with the lie that you're not that you are alone you're no longer agreement in that lie you're not alone you're not alone you're not alone in the mighty name of Jesus oh because father God father God you said in your scriptures that you would never leave us alone father God oh father God fulfill your promises to those who are feeling lonely to those who are feeling afflicted oh father God I pray that you set them free in the the mighty name of Jesus I declare decree the blood of Jesus over their mind over their or over their body right now father God that they will be set free from the prisons that they're in on their mind that they will hold up captive and cast it out their mind that they're alone that is a lie from the enemy Satan is a liar because your word says that you will never leave us or forsake us father God and we thank you for that precious promise right now I ask that you 
Father God, remove that spirit that's oppressing them. Oh, I rebuke that spirit of loneliness right now, Father God, that's in them, that's, that, that they're just oppressing them, Father God, that they will be set free, Father God. I declare, Father God, that they will find joy in your salvation, that they will overcome the feelings of depression or loneliness and sadness, Father God, that sweeps them over them often, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will heal their afflicting souls, Father God, that they will find comfort in you, Father God, that they will run to you in the mighty name of Jesus, that they can rebuke that spirit, Father God, that they can rebuke it in the name of Jesus and know that they have authority. Right now, I bind that demon, Father God, that's oppressing them. I bind those spirits that's oppressing my sister and brother, Father God, that is weighing on you, Father God. The enemy wants them to run and feel that void in the world and earthly things. But right now, Father God, I pray, I rebuke the spirit of loneliness right now. I rebuke that spirit right now. Some of you may be feeling nauseous. Some of you may be feeling, uh, might have a headache. Some of you may be feeling fire. But right now, I declare the fire of Jesus over you. I declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, that that spirit will flee. Oh, Father God, just like that spirit had a hold on me and attacked me day and night, day and night, day and night, Father God, to the point where I just couldn't bear it anymore. Father God, but you told me that I had authority. Oh, Father God, I had to hold every thought captive. I, I had to then renounce that agreement that I did when I said out of my mouth that I am alone, that I feel alone. That is a lie of the enemy right now, Father God. We break those agreements right now. We renounce those agreements that they have made, Father God, with the enemy unawarely, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. I pray, Father God, that they will remove those negative mindsets, Father God, that are holding them back, and that they will be filled with your peace, that they will be filled with your word of God. Oh, Father God, that they would turn away from their thinking, from their negative thinking, Father God, and that with it, that they would depend on the Holy Spirit to guide them in their process. Right now, I cast that spirit out in the mighty name of Jesus, and I declare the, the blood of Jesus over them, Father God, because you came here to carry our burdens. Father God, you healed our their burdens. Brokenness. You set them free from that bondage. Set them free from that bondage of that lie that they are alone. They're not alone, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. I pray, Father God, that they will feel your peace. Father God, that you are you said that when you when Jesus died and he left, he promised a comforter. We thank you for that comforter. We thank you for that counselor of the Holy Spirit that is in us, Father God. I pray, Father God, that we no longer feel those familiar spirits, that we no longer feel those familiar loneliness, Father God, that you will we will break free from that in the name of Jesus, that our minds will stay on you on perfect peace. In the Rashikia man, Shokia man, Dorokia man, Sokia man. Father, close all doors, all portals. Father God, that they may have opened, Father God, unawarely in the mighty name of Jesus. Cast and destroy right now, Father God. They're not alone. They're not alone, Father God. In those moments when they feel alone, Father God, that they will start worshiping you, that they will cling on to your word. They will start praying. They will start reading the Bible in the name of Jesus to rebuke that spirit of loneliness. So that loneliness, spirit of loneliness, will have to flee. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Satan is a liar. We rebuke him and we cast him out in the name of Jesus. Father God, Aki, Orushiki, Marashokara. You will never abandon us, Father God. You will never leave us orphans. And we know that you are with us and you are with them. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, Father God. My brothers and sisters, I pray that every time you feel this spirit attacking you, that you would call on to God and he will help you. Turn away from your negative mindsets that's holding you back. Know that you're not alone and renounce that in the name of Jesus. God bless my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I hope that this word encourages you. I hope this word it wakes you up and know that you're not alone. And that there's something that is attacking you that you cannot fully see. God allowed me to see that demon. God allowed me to see what was oppressing me. We have to be real with ourselves. But no more, no more. Remember, there is peace in God. There is joy in God. And there is dancing in God. A peace that the world does not give. If right now you're living in turmoil and, and, and you're, you don't feel peace, it's because you're not in God. You're not in His presence. 
because God says if you look unto him, you will be in perfect peace. Praise God. Amen.